Welcome back to All the Work, a stay-at-home dad's attempt at refurbishing his 1987 Ski Supreme. If you watched my last video, you saw me not finish fiberglassing the floors. Now, I am up against some cold weather coming in, so what I am doing at this point is I'm pushing the boat out into the driveway, setting up my little greenhouse situation here, and sprinting outside once my wife gets home, and getting as much fiberglass work done as I possibly can in that short amount of time. Uh, first here, I am doing a little peanut buttering work that needs to get done, smooth things out, fill in the little holes that I dremeled out before, uh, fill out the holes that were on the underside of the engine mount, getting all those sealed up, and then mix up some resin, and then finish fiberglassing uh, back under the, where the gas tank is going to go in, and get prepared for gel coating. As you can see, I have very little daylight to work with and I am already tearing down now that the sun is behind the mountains and here I am actually pushing the boat back into the driveway. Now this is all cleanup effort so that my wife can still park in the garage as she still insists upon doing. Here I am the next day actually during nap time where I am pulling the boat out into the driveway. Now this new truck that I got is a little too high for the jack on the trailer so I have to lower the trailer onto the block then raise it back up on this little block and then roll the little wheel while it's on that little block lower it onto the to the hitch and then pull it out into the driveway. Not a sweet situation, but hey, it's what I'm doing. It's what I'm doing to get it done. Um, you can see that I can set up my little greenhouse situation pretty quickly at this time. Here's the whole setup process. Really doesn't take me that long. I think I was doing it in five or six minutes, really. Now today I am gel coating the floor where I have fiberglassed. Uh, I found out that the quicker you get the gel coat onto the laminating resin, the better bond you'll get. So I really wanted to make this happen before the snow comes in. Right there I did a little bit of Dremel work. I had just a little bit of bubbling in those big laminates of fiberglass that I put down. So I figured what I'd do is I'd just Dremel them out and I'll gel coat over them and then I'll be able to find those holes where I Dremel through the gel coat and then I can finish carving them out at a later date. Here I am mixing up the gel coat for the first time. Now I've never used gel coat before. I don't really know much about it, um, but I'm rolling it on. I start out in the nose, works up pretty well, and you can see the way it goes on there on the floor. It really went smoothly. I was really pleased with the results I got. Um, I had a little bit left over the gel coat. I tried doing that um, driver's side up under the gunnel there where I'd done the peanut buttering, and then a little bit of cleanup, and now I have a sealed, uh, fiberglass floor I couldn't be happier Bryce came out to check it out you hear how excited he is you didn't see I painted it that's actually gel coat Bryce from the yawns that he's as excited as I am to have finally gel coated something and feel like this project is going to come to a completion and maybe I'll just make it into the winter with a completed repair project. I had thought after I gel coated that side that I was done and I wouldn't be bringing the boat back in the driveway. However, after a closer inspection, um, the gel coat wasn't quite thick enough in areas. The texture from the mat was showing through pretty heavily. So I am pulling the boat out one more day. Uh, I'm just mixing up gel coat, finishing off the can I got. Now I do have an issue, my roller is a little bit seized up from me not doing a good enough job cleaning it the day before. Uh, 
However, it's good enough and I'm able to get it done. I do a second coat all the way through there, a little bit more up in the nose. And then I lean in and just get a little more of that. And here is why I was hustling. Here we are the next day, two days later maybe. The snow has fallen and we are playing outdoors. So now I have to wait out this snow and hope that the weather warms up and finish the other side.